Been up since 3 a.m. My mind's working overtime with this project. I had a few ideas overnight. Um, had a few emails and text messages and stuff with people recommending different things. You know, some useful, some useless. Everything's appreciated. Um, one of the big ones was 24, uh, 48 volt rather than 24. Love the idea. And it also goes towards the whole stackable, or what do you call it, parallel thing that the, the power wall has as well. You can stack them together. And if I use a 48 volt, I could stack them all together and make them all go together. So that's kind of a cool idea. Also, I was thinking, having these, I've got to go and see my engineer today. And I need to give him all these ideas and, and on how I want it to sit on the wall and lay out and all this sort of stuff. So um, at the moment I got my measurements off my pip and I got this one battery made up and hopefully by the time I go down I'll have the other little black things. I was thinking if I could somehow get away where I could slide them up from the bottom and then sit them into the wall so I could almost make each battery pack modular so I could change them out or um, perhaps even do all the the 2400 milliamp hour batteries on this one and then 2100 and 2000 and then what 1900 1800 and 1700 and so on and so forth and I can change out entire packs to grow the entire pack um, as I get more cells I don't know just an idea like I said I haven't been thinking I haven't been sleeping um, another thought would also to be um, whack a nice big Anderson plug in the bottom of the pack um, so I've got a nice neat power wall on the wall and then have it upgradable you know so you can have I don't know haven't put much thought in but you could have another seven of these on the ground or in a box or somewhere off to the side or wherever else plug them in and double your capacity triple your capacity or whatever and just keep expanding it but yeah all these ideas are racing around my head and thanks for the guys that are putting them in there so hopefully today i get the rest of these black things so i can keep going on hopefully i get the copper today hopefully progresses even further and faster um this is gonna work this is gonna be super cool and it's gonna work and it's gonna be practical and anybody's going to be able to do it um, another thing the engineer said he can actually once this thing's built he can actually do the design for it and reproduce it he makes buildings he does the i-beams and stuff in buildings so he's he's um he's going to be able to make it strong enough i reckon i've used him a few th few times to do other little projects and because I can't weld. Well, I probably can weld, but it'll look like a chook shitting on a fucking dog. But he does a good job. So if you want it replicated or whatever, or you want the plans, I'll try and provide the plans. I don't know whether he's going to do the plans or I've got to do the plans. But if I have to do the plans, I'll certainly put them on my YouTube channel so you can download them for free. Anyway, that's my update for now. Get some ideas out of my head and put them on YouTube. So... I watched all the videos last night. I watched all my 18650 videos again. And it's interesting to see the stuff that I said in the first one, two and a half months ago, when I first started this whole project of running my house off battery. You know, some of them are still there. They're, 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 they're turning out to be quite practical ideas. Um, and even though Jay, Jay Hu Garcia um, has called his the DIY power wall, I'll leave a link down there because that's another cool thing too. That's another way of doing it. You know, I guess what's what YouTube is. Um, so I'll share his link down the bottom as well. Um, and Jay, if you're watching this, please return the favour. 